Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using the free software Caden Live. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the speed effect under motion so we can change and make a video faster or slower than it normally is. So I'm going to start by bringing in a clip. I'll click here on Add Clip, and we'll just bring in this clip of this cyclist that we downloaded from Pixabay. We can, the clip appears over here in our project bin. We can click Play Clip and see what this looks like at normal speed. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Actually, we'll speed up and slow down and do a couple things to it. So I'm going to pause it. We can just drag right here on this clip monitor. If we click it right here anywhere in the video, we can drag it down to our timeline. Uh, oops, it didn't go quite go. And then we can also, we could have also click and drag it from here too. What we can't do is drag it from uh, a file in our computer. We can't drag it there unless it's in our clip monitor already. So we can drag into our clip our our uh, clip project bin, but we can't drag it into. I don't know if we can grab, drag it into the clip monitor or not. No, we can't drag it anywhere. The only place we can drag from our computer is into the project bin, and then from project bin we can drag into our timeline. Anyway, so now we have it. We have two copies of the same video down here. We only want one, so I'm going to delete the second one by hitting the delete key on my keyboard. Then I'll select this one. We know it's selected because it has the red box around it. And then I'm going to come down here to the bottom right and just make this a little bit larger. All right. I mean, make my timeline view larger. The video is staying the same size. We see it's still the same speed that it's always been. But we are in our project monitor, so we're, we're watching it down here. We know that too because our playhead is moving along with the video. Whereas if we're in our clip monitor and we hit play, it'll play this clip. And our playhead down here is staying still even though our video is playing up here. That's a way you can tell which monitor you're on. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna take and apply the effect to this clip. To do that, we go to motion, we left click on the speed effect and drag it over top of the clip. Now it says speed in the top left corner of the clip. And also we have some new properties that weren't here before. There's just one control for speed and that is uh, it's in percentage. So the percentage right now is 100%. That means it's just playing normal speed. If we want it to go twice as fast, we can change this. We can click and change it to 200% and hit enter. And that automatically shortens down the length of our clip because now it's playing twice as fast. So it's going to take half the time to play. Does that make sense? Um, so we can come back and play this and see what it looks like fast. Pretty cool. Maybe we want it to be slow, so we can change it. We can also just click and drag up in here, but it's a little bit sensitive on my computer. I think it depends on what operating system you're using. But we can change it, and we can see it just changes the size dynamically down there. Let's change it down to about 58%, so this will be almost half speed. So now if we play, everything should be really slow. So it's about half the normal speed it would, it would normally be. Maybe what I want to have happen, to get rid of all the effects out of this, we can just delete it, or we can click on these three lines and go Reset Effect, and that resets it back to what it, everything what it normally was, which is 100%. Um, so we're back to normal speed. Let's do this. Let's. I'm just left-clicking on the playhead right now, and I'm kind of scrubbing along to us find a certain point. How about as soon as he touches the bike, let's have it go into slow motion right here. So to, to do that, if I want to have different portions of this video be different speeds, I need to cut the clip. Otherwise, it applies the effect to the entire clip. And in fact, before I do this, I'm just going to delete the effect. So now there's no effect at all at, applied to this clip. And I'll go to my razor tool, which is this, give us this little scissor cursor, and I'll click right here. And now I've cut this clip. So I'll go back to my selection tool. Now I have this clip here and then this clip here. So I will apply a speed to this first clip and the speed we want is going to be 200%. So I'll change this to 200, hit enter. It shrinks that the clip down by half because it's taking up less space now. It's playing twice as fast. So I want to left click and drag this over so they play seamlessly. So now it's going to play really fast and then it's going to slowly or go back to normal speed. So he's he, like running to his bike and then it slows down. And then maybe right here where he jumps on the bike, I mean, Go back a little bit there by left-clicking and holding to about here. I'm going to 
go back to my razor tool and I'm going to cut the video here because I want this last part of the video to be another speed. So this one I want to be, let's come forward a little bit till it gets on the bike and then we'll clip it right here. I'm going to go back to my selection tool. So now I have my ending part of the video, which I can just drag it over here and watch and see what it's playing like. This is just him riding off at normal speed. That's how I want the ending to be. But this middle part, I want to be slower. So when I slow it down, it's going to push out the video, make it longer. So just so I don't get into any trouble with it, like over, like trying to push into this existing video, I'm going to move this one up to, vi to video layer two or video track two. And now I should be able to take this clip and I want this to be slow. So it's 100% now and I want it to be, oh, so since there's actually a, a, an effect applied to this, it keeps them on all of these. We notice our first one is 200% and then when we split, we just have a bunch of effects at 100%. So I don't have to reapply it. But if I did, if there was no effect on it, I'd have to re-drag it, it down. So let's do, uh, do that. So I'll make sure the effect is on and I'll change this down to 50% on this clip. So sure enough, it pushed it out there. It wasn't so far that it ran into this. So I'll drag this back down and I'll, I use these tracks a lot of time. You can even like temporarily just drag it down to the audio track. If ever you want to just get something out of the way or you're not sure where you're going to add it in, it's fine just to have just different parts of clips hanging out as long as you remember what they are. Um, that's not a problem. I actually use the timeline when I'm uh, editing to just kind of store stuff. And if I don't end up using it, I'll just delete it sometimes or I'll drag it into place um, right last minute. But that's a good way to use the timeline, these other tracks. Even if you're not gonna render on those tracks, it's a good place to just kind of set stuff while you're waiting. Anyway, so now everything's here in the same one track. So now I'm gonna go back to the beginning and we'll play this and we'll see what it looks like. So he ran quickly to get it. He slowly gets on and then it goes back to normal speed and rides off. Very cool. So to accomplish this multiple speed, we have this one at double speed, 200%. This one's at 100%. The next one's at 50%, so half speed. And the last one's 100% again. I'm gonna change this into 200% so he rides off quickly. And there we have it. And then to render this out, this is the only effect we're gonna, we're gonna keep on this whole thing. To render it out, I'll just click Render. I'll click, select MP4. I'll click this button here to choose a place to render it to. So it'll be desktop and we'll call it speed bike. That's what I'm gonna call mine. Hit save, and then I'll hit this render to file. So it'll render, it'll, it'll create this video and save it on my desktop now. And it takes a little bit of time because it has to go through and process, and it's like, okay, what are we doing? We're slowing down this part of the video, we're speeding up this part of the video, but it'll apply all those effects. So just remember, sometimes it might be really laggy up here when you're watching in your project monitor, but when you render it out, it gets rid of all that lagginess and smoothness and makes it a nice crisp video. So we'll play this video here and this is what it looks like. So we've kind of got this slow and it just quickly rides off. So that is using the speed tool, uh, the speed effect in Caden Live to either speed up or slow down uh, a video. Um, there was one more thing I was going to say about this. Oh yes. So this video, it happened to not have any audio associated with it, but if it did have audio, it would have also sped up and slowed down the audio. So the audio would be like slower and lower or be super fast and high pitched like the chickmunks. So just keep that in mind. If you are doing it with audio, this speed effect will also apply a uh, change the speed of that audio as well. Um, and check out a couple tutorials ago, I showed you how to actually, you can right click and go to split audio, and that'll actually split the audio out of your video clip if you want to just delete the audio, or you can click over here and mute the audio as well. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Go ahead and uh, catch, I'll catch you on the next one. In the next tutorial, we're going to be changing, we're going to be applying a crop to the video, so we'll change, we can zoom in and look at just one portion of the video. And we'll also learn how to tr how to move around the video um, and transform it. So catch you on that video if you're interested. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.